never seen that. I'm sure you guys probably have. Like, that's not a new thing, Ray. Don't be a noob. But I am a noob. Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That's the Everyday City Carry. And what have I got today? Or tonight, rather, because it's like probably almost 11 o'clock at night. But why am I doing an unboxing? Why am I doing an unboxing? It's like so late at night, you know? I usually don't do that. But this could be the, some would say, the most important box the most important box of the year so far this is the box from the gak tack i forgot who said it that way it sounds like double dare's new uh modernized show or whatever from nickelodeon give a knife take a knife and this came from slicey dicey held on to it a pretty long time <laughs> he held on to it for a while. Uh, I understand why he told me a couple of reasons, but it was just really funny because I made this TikTok. Oh my God! Where he said in the uh, Give a Knife, Take a Knife uh, group chat, that he was going to send it, that he sent it out already. And that was like January 15th. And today is the 27th. So, you know what I'm saying? A little bit, took a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Uh, but let us see what we are going to use. I think we have to use the QSP Puffin. This beautiful Anna work was done by Anything Knife Related on Instagram. Uh, Brian Wallace on YouTube. It looks so much more beautiful right now. Was going to give it away. Going to wait a little bit. Going to wait a little bit because the thumb stud version is going to come my way from the Apex Pass Around group. So I'm going to compare the two because this is the non thumb study that people had a problem with because it was like really hard to open. You could only middle finger flick it. You see, I just fucked it up right there. There you go. Looks more beautiful now. But let us get to the box because I don't know how much space I have on my camera. It says 50 gigs, but I'm not sure if that's enough for this video because there's going to be five knives in here. Five. Let's open this up right now. This is slicing beautifully, meaning that uh, anything knife related who sharpened this, resharpened this with a KME did an amazing job. Got some tape on that, which I will clean off later, if I don't forget. <sighs> Let's see. Don't worry, it all new beside orange towel. <laughs> I think this is slicey is just being funny. What's in here? Something in here? No. But what do we do with this? That's what we do with it, dudes. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take everything out, okay? Oh, and he got, we've got a little sock. <laughs> uh, what is this, like cheesecloth? Like protection? We're going to put all of this stuff there. And there is a ton of stuff in here, yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at this. Uh, Slicey put like... Is this like a wee wee pad, dude? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I think this is the inside joke. Um, I'm not gonna chuck this, but not too hard anyway. But what do we do with this? There we go. Look how beautiful this looks right now. First of all, first of all, we're gonna check this out. It says Ray, and he spelled my name right. I love Slicey Dicey for doing that. You know, he, he's a, been a big supporter of my channel. He's a really funny dude. A little something for your ass. <laughs> do, 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 do not put in ass. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? This is fantastic, man. Oh, uh, I think I'll... You know what? Should I open this right now? What is it? Oh, it's a Shala. What the? It's a Shala. Mike, is he going to give me this to keep, man? What? Whoa. Oh, it's not a Shala. He's a liar. <gasps> oh my 
God. Guys. Guys. Hold on. Let me just let me just put this aside for a sec. Guys. Guys, I have been talking about this for a while. Let me put this over there. This is a steel wheel cobalt with black G10 and you've got sort of orange uh, lanyard bead thing right there. This looks so much more fashion forward in person. Oh, this is such a ray knife, bro. Holy crap. I mean, this is such a ray knife. This is such a ray knife. Like, for real, though. Is he letting me keep this thing? Are you letting me keep this, Slicey? Or is this... Are you just teasing me a little bit here? Because this... Oh, let me see if I can Spidey flick this. Eh. It's hard. The giggity. But I am in love with this. This is perfect for what I need in New York City. I would main knife this, no problem. It's a little bit stiff. Um, when it was coming out there on the left side, maybe I'm just getting used to it. The detent on this feels super snappy. See, like when you're bringing it in, check that out. Whoa, that snaps in there, dude. This is the Steel Wheel Kobold. Not Cobalt. Cobold. Cobold is like a creature I fight in RPGs, yeah. Is this a D2? Yeah, it's a D2. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Slicey, thank you for sending this over. Whether I get to keep it or I get to just check it out, I am very appreciative of that because I've been meaning to check this out for a long time. And uh, I've been... Yo, Steel Will, what's up, bro? You know, I've been uh, sort of like talking real good about your decision to come up with these sort of brightly colored patterns with black and uh, reds and blues and things like that and I think it's a very fashion forward and I like it I like it but let us see what is in these things um, let's go with this one first dude this is so funny the way this is what is going on Oh, you guys, man. So we have got a best tech here. Keep in mind, I am not going to know what all these knives are. You know what I'm saying? And I'm also not going to make my choice or put in my uh, choice of knife to, to, to give to the pass around, right? Because you're supposed to take a knife and put one in. Give a knife, take a knife. You know what I'm saying? So let's open this guy right here. This is a best tech. And oh, there's two in here hey why is there two i don't i don't understand there's a buck in here <laughs> what is this supposed to go to me slice what is this well i can't even open this uh it's a flipper it says the it's an s30 fee it's the boss the buck boss is that what this is guys is this the buck boss Okay, it's hard to flip this guy open. Let's check out what the other one is. This is... Ooh, this is that real steel that uh, Slicey put in. I remember in his video, the Pelican, I believe. This is fire, bro. This is so cool. Holy crap, Bestek. How much is this thing? Oh, this is so cool, man. This is why I love the give a knife, take a knife, is I get to kind of try knives that I would never pick up. And this is so, so sick. So this is the Pelican. Uh, I think Be Buck Boss, I'm not sure. Let's leave that on the table right there. Let's go to this mini guy. <laughs> Taking it out of the sock again. These little, you know, sock condoms. Uh, this is, oh, this is the case. This is the case. This is the case. I've never had a case before. I've never had a case. Uh, this is like little, uh, books and crap. Let's put that back in because we're not going to go through all that right now. And look at that. Wow, this is, this feels really nice. It says Case USA. You've got this green 
sort of handle scale there. I'm not a big traditional slip joint guy, but this is a cool knife, you know, to put in the, your little suit pocket there. And I probably may be bold enough to take this out like in public in New York City because I mean, come on, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be like, yeah, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that with it. You know, let me look at the recording real quick and make sure that it is good. I think it is. But uh, all right, let's put the case away. Which case is this? It says one nine six one. That's all I know so far about it. Uh, I might flash some graphics on the screen, I'm not sure for this one because there's so many knives and uh, like I said, I am going to make a proper uh, give a knife, take a knife video, which I'm going to put a lot more time in, a lot more editing, a lot more footage and stuff, you know, because your boy got to kill it. That's the only thing that he knows how to do. Took out the other condom and here we go right here. This is a brass blade. So this is a historic event on EDCC because I think this is the first brass blaze I've ever checked out if I'm not mistaken although I could be mistaken because I don't remember anything and look at that look at that presentation first of all you got this case that looks like a loot crate in Borderlands the game you open that up it's sturdy you got the little look at that you get the little torque screw which is awesome certificate of authenticity you get the little silica gel Yo, let's check this real quick. Hold on a second, because I can't even close this. And I dropped it. That's good. Good thing nothing's in there. Uh, <laughs> check this out right here. This is the Browse Blades. Um, hmm. I don't know. Spectre? Is that what this is? Let's see. This is 93 out of 500. That's pretty cool. So, so far... G10. This is a Ray esque knife, too, man. What is this? What is that thing? Oh, I think this is just design. Cool action. Great jimping on top there. What's the steel on this? I don't know anything about these knives. And you got the little Brass Blades logo on the pocket clip. A little bit tough to disengage, I think. A little bit slim in that. Uh, liner lock area there this is this feels tight so feels good though um so far for his browse blades probably not gonna be my last whoa let's drop that right there so uh i think i want to say it's the specter i could be wrong though let us take off another sock it's a kubi or kube you know what i'm saying uh, let's open it. And this is the, it says some Kubi, man, I don't know what that says, dude. I don't have my glasses on either, but let's open it up. I've never had a Kubi before. Look at this. This is a nice little pouch. Got the camo on that. And... Let's open this and put this in here. And we are going to put this away and all that. Okay. So this is the Kubi. I don't know which one it is. It looks like it's got carbon fiber. It's a very slim profile. I like this little clip here. It looks very cool. And I dig this. I dig this little, that little thing right there. Ooh, that rockets out. And kind of wish there was jimping here, though, or something. But you know what? It fits ergonomically in the fish paws. That feels good, dude. It's a bit large. Let's do the palm test. Bit too big for me. Good action on that, though. Wow, man. There's some good knives this time around in the give a knife, take a knife. This is crazy. Look at that action, yo. That thing rock rockets out, you know? Like that's what all the reviewers say, right? <laughs> it deploys with authority. You know what I mean? Like what? Imagine it just deploys all soft like and all that. Boop. This is the last knife on here. And this is a Boker Plus. Let us do that. And let's take oh this I know it's which one this is. 
this is the Boker Kihan. Let's uh, get rid of all this uh, little stuff here. All the little dirt and stuff. All right, so this is the Boker Kihan, which is a pretty cool. Wow, that's a cool action. Cool blade shape too, man. All, it's gonna be hard to choose. Um, but this is a cool one that I definitely had my eye on because JT's Knife Life modded this. I, he did like some on the blade here, I can tell because the uh, logo's coming off there. Maybe he buffed it out. I don't know what that's called. Polished it, satined it or something. Let's try the uh, thumb stud on that. Amazing. Really good action with the thumb stud actually. Let's try middle finger. Nice. Pretty good, man. Pretty good action. I don't know how much any of these are, but we did agree that it was going to be like $40 and above. <sighs> Boker Kihan. This is going to be hard to choose. And I'm telling you that right now. This is going to be hard to choose. Let us flick everything open one more time. That is the fun thing, right? That is the fun thing. Let's give that a close. I'm gonna close all of them and give them a give them a deployment and do the knives up, which is what we love to do on EDCC, right? And that right, and it. So let's <laughs> let's do the uh, the buck. Is this the boss? I think. Cool. We got the buck boss right there. Oh, interesting way to place the pocket clip. It goes on the top. That's kind of... I've never seen that. I'm sure you guys probably have. Like, that's not a new thing, Ray. Don't be a noob. But I am a noob. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I haven't been collecting for my whole life. Let's open that. It says boss on it. Got a little flame. S30V. Cool. Real Steel Pelican. I believe that's what this is. Very cool. This has a... V you know, I'm not going to talk about what I'm going to pick. Forgot. I'm just going to open them. I'm going to do knives up. Just calm down. This is the case right here. Boom. Browse Blades Spectre, I think. This is the Kubi. Damn, son. That really... There's something about this one, the way it flies out. It's really cool. Something about it, man. I think it's the shape of the blade. It, like, the way it swings out is very satisfying. And the Boker Kihan. What? What is going on right now with this? Amazing. All amazing stuff here. And guess what? Guess what, guys? I am also going to put in the Steel Wheel Kobold. Look at that. I'm saying... Look at that, dude. Let's get that. Because that's going to be the thumbnail, probably. Maybe not. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this. I had a lot of fun unboxing these. I am going to make the give a knife, take a knife video pretty soon. I think I'm going to review the Red E folder first, which I've been having a dope time with. Um, but yeah, if you haven't watched the other videos for give a knife, take a knife, please do that. Uh, Stas has made one. Slicey Dicey. I think I think your Dward Gear made one. Am I wrong? I could be wrong because I'm real. My memory not great. ADHD. Memory is going everywhere. But you know what? I had a great time tonight with everybody. Much love to everyone for checking out my content. And uh, yeah, this is your boy in the NYC. It's me Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.